Hi, boys and girls. I hope you had a wonderful Easter. I did. You gotta celebrate Jesus' resurrection, and that was so much fun. I also ate some Easter candy. How many of you ate some jelly beans? Peeps are my favorite. I ate way too many. Would you help me exercise those off with a song that I used to do when I was a little girl? The Hokey Pokey. Help me, stand up. Let's do it together, okay? Mrs. Wilkins. I'm beat. I have a great story I read. And you know what? I like pie. I love pie. And this story is about a pie. You know what it's called? It's called enemy pie. Is the enemy a friend? Mm -mm. What kind of a pie could enemy pie be? This story was written by Derek Munson and illustrated by Tara King. It should have been a perfect summer. My dad helped me build a tree house in our backyard. My sister was at camp for three whole weeks and I was on the best baseball team in town. It should have been a perfect summer, but it wasn't. There's his baseball team, the best in town. It was all good until Jeremy Ross moved into the neighborhood, right next door to my best friend, Stanley. I did not like Jeremy Ross. He laughed at me when, he, when I struck out in a baseball game. He had a party on his trampoline and I wasn't even invited. But my best friend, Stanley was. Jeremy Ross was the one and only person on my enemy list. I never had an enemy list until he moved into the neighborhood, but as soon as he came along, I needed one. I hung it up on my treehouse where Jeremy Ross was not allowed to go. Do you see his enemy list? And the name Jeremy Ross was there. Hmm. Dad understood stuff like enemies. He told me that when he was my age, he had enemies too, but he knew a way to get rid of them. I asked him to tell me how. Tell me how, I'll show you how, he said. He pulled an old recipe book off the top, kitchen shelf. 
Inside, there was a worn out scrap of paper with faded writing. Dad held it up and squinted at it. Enemy pie, he said, satisfied. You may be wondering what exactly is enemy pie? I was wondering too. But dad said the recipe was so secret, he couldn't even tell me. I decided it must be magic. I begged him to tell me something, anything. I will tell you this, he said. Enemy pie is the fastest way to get rid of enemies. Now, of course, this got my mind working. What kind of things? I bet they had to be disgusting things. What I put into a pie for an enemy. I brought dad some weeds from the garden, but he just shook his head. I brought him earthworms and rocks, but didn't, he didn't use any of those. I gave him the gum I had just been chewing all morning. He gave it right back to me. I wonder what his dad was putting in this pie. I went out to play alone. I shot baskets until the ball got stuck on the roof. I threw a boomerang that never came back to me. And all the while, I listened to the sounds of my dad chopping and stirring and blending the ingredients of the enemy pie. This could be a great summer after all. Enemy pie was going to be awful. I tried to imagine how horrible it must smell or worse yet, what it would look like. But when I was in the backyard looking for ladybugs, I smelled something really, really really good and as far as i could tell it was coming from our kitchen i was a bit confused which means he did not understand i went to ask dad what was wrong enemy pie shouldn't smell this good but dad was smart if enemy pie smelled bad your enemy would never eat it, he said. I could tell that he knew a lot about enemy pie before. The buzzer rang and dad pulled on his oven mitts and pulled out the pie from the oven. It looked like plain old pie. It looked good enough to eat. I was catching on, but still I wasn't really sure how this enemy pie worked. What exactly did it do to enemies? Maybe it made their hair fall off or their breath gets stinky. Maybe it made bullies cry. I asked dad, but he was no help. He wanted to tell me a thing. But while the pie cooled, he filled me in on my job. Uh oh, there was a job to do. He talked quietly. There was one part of enemy pie that I can't do. In order for it to work, you need to spend a whole day with your enemy. Even worse, you have to be nice to him. It's not easy, but that's the only way your enemy pie can work. Are you sure you want to go through with this? Of course I was. It sounded horrible. It sounded scary, but it was all worth a try. All I had to do was spend one day with Jeremy Ross. Then he'd be out of my hair for the rest of my life. I rode my bike to his house and knocked on the door. When Jeremy opened the door, he seemed surprised. He stood on the other side of the screen door and looked at me, waiting for me to say something. I was nervous. Can you play, I asked. He looked confused. I'll go ask my mom. He said he came back with his shoes in his hand. His mom walked around the corner to say hello. You boys stay out of trouble, she said smiling. We rode bikes for a while and played on the trampoline. Then we made some water balloons and threw them at the neighbor's girls. But we missed. Jeremy's mom made us lunch and after lunch we went over to my house. It was strange but I was kind of having fun with my enemy. He almost seemed nice, 
But of course, I couldn't tell Dad that since he had worked so hard to make this enemy pie. Jeremy Ross liked my basketball hoop. He said he wished he had a basketball hoop, but they didn't have room for one. I let him win a game just to be nice. Jeremy Ross knew how to throw a boomerang. He threw it and it came right back to him. I threw it and it went over my house and into the backyard. When we climbed over the fence to find it, the first thing Jeremy noticed was my tree house. I'll show you the page. There went the boomerang right over the house. My tree house was my tree house. I was the boss. If my sister wanted in, I didn't have to let her in. If my dad wanted in, I didn't have to let him in. And if Jeremy wanted in, can we go in, he asked. I knew he was gonna ask me that, but he was the only person on my enemy list. And enemies aren't allowed in my tree house. But he did teach me how to throw a boomerang, and he did have me over for lunch, and he did let me play on his trampoline. He wasn't being a very good enemy. Okay, I said, but hold on. What do you think he wanted to hold on? What did he put in his treehouse? Remember that list? I climbed up ahead of him and tore the enemy list off the wall. I had a checkerboard and some cards in the tree house and we played games until my dad called us for dinner. We pretended we didn't hear him and when he came out to get us, we tried to hide from him. But somehow he found us. Look at their playing checkers and there they have cards. And they're going, shh. They were trying to hide from dad. Dad made us macaroni, macaroni and cheese for dinner. My favorite. It was Jeremy's favorite too. Maybe Jeremy wasn't so bad after all. I was beginning to think that maybe we should just forget about enemy pie. But sure enough, after dinner, Dad brought out the pie. I watched as he cut the pie into eight thick slices. Dad, I said, it sure is nice having a friend in the neighborhood. I was trying to get his attention and trying to tell him about that Jeremy Ross was no longer my enemy. But Dad only smiled and nodded. I think he thought I was pretending. Dad dished up three plates side by side with three big pieces of pie and a giant scoop of ice cream. He passed, he passed one to me and one to Jeremy. Wow, Jeremy said looking at that pie. My dad never makes pies like this. It was at this point that I panicked. I didn't want Jeremy to eat the enemy pie. He was my friend. I couldn't let him eat it. Jeremy, don't eat it. It's a bad pie. I think it has poison or something in it. Jeremy's fork stopped before reaching his mouth. He crumpled his eyebrows and looked at me funny. I felt relieved. I had saved his life. I was a hero. It's so bad, Jeremy asked. Then why has your dad already eaten half of it? I turned to look at my dad. Sure enough, he was eating enemy pie. Good stuff, he mumbled through a mouthful. And that was all he said. I sat there watching them eat enemy pie for a few seconds. Dad was laughing. Jeremy, Jeremy was happily eating. And neither of them were losing their hair. It seemed safe enough. So I took a tiny taste. Enemy pie was delicious. That does look good. After dessert, Jeremy rode his bike home, but not before inviting me over to play on his trampoline in the morning. He said he'd teach me how to flip. As for enemy pie, I still don't know how to make it. I still wonder if enemies really do hate it, or if their hair falls out, or their breath, breath turns bad. But I don't know if I'll ever get an answer because I just lost my best enemy. The end. Isn't that a great story? Enemy pie wasn't bad at all. He just needed to learn what his new friend was really like and to give him a chance of life. Sometimes people can upset us and hurt our feelings. 
but God doesn't want us to be angry or upset about them, we can pray for them and we can reach out to them and try to be their best friend. I miss you all terribly. I can hardly wait when we're back together again. I hope you enjoy the story for today. Love you all. Bye-bye.